so it has to be less than or equals to well square so now how do we design this how do we design this so see the expressions here Design of weld is nothing but finding of the different aspects and different parameters of the weld, unknowns of the weld. So design strength of the weld is Fu by root 3 into gamma Mw into Lw into T. Lw into T represents area of weld. So area of the weld into strength will give you uh, design strength of the weld in terms of newtons or you can also say design strength of the welds by simply writing this way but the units will be newton per mm square fu by root 3 into gamma mw also represent also is the design strength of the weld but in terms of stress you are saying it here i am saying it in terms of load okay next uh, size of the groove or butt weld so you know what is the size of the weld in case of billet weld these are the two plates and this is the billet weld billet weld from here to here this is nothing but size of weld in case of fillet so what is the size of weld or butt weld in case of uh, groove weld or butt weld Yes, uh, I hope you can see this figure. Let's see, uh, just examine the figure. This is plate one and this is plate two. These two plates are joined by a double B butt joint. Well, okay, this is nothing but double B butt well. So why I'm calling double B? See here. The top portion is similar to B, and the bottom cut is also groove is also at T. So there are two V's, double V. There can be single V also. This is how it looks. This is how it looks. This is how the weld is going to look. So if, if you can see, there is only one V here in the weld, right? So the name has been come out. They buy the shape in which you cut this metal. If metal is chosen in If there, this is the bar. I can cut this bar in this way, or I can cut this into this way, right? Either in this or in this. So if I cut this in first one, first one, I get a single V part joint. If I cut in the second way, I will get a double V part joint. I'm going to show you some pictures uh about these types of shapes and wells and everything i hope that would give you a bit more clarity let me show you that figure yes so uh, please examine this this figure here So this is first one is you can if you are not able to see clearly the uh, terminology there below their figure you can use your screen you can just try to enlarge it you can do it something like your image how do you do that okay screen with me enlarge church zoom in church okay in teams so do that so first one is single square groove square groove yes because there is no cut so when i cut this weld when i do a weld this uh, let me just let me zoom in right so uh, in this first case single square groove because we are saying that it is a single groove weld because when you weld the groove is of a square shape and the second one single bevel groove Bevel and chundi, waka end, waka edge of the plate is perfectly vertical and other one is inclined. So it seems to be like a half B, isn't it? That shape is called actually bevel. 
ఒక సింగల్ బివెల్ దిస్ ఇస్ సింగల్ బివెల్ ఇఫ్ యూస్ ది సి ది సెకండ్ వన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డబల్ బివెల్ సి వి హ్యావ్ టూ థింగ్స్ టాప్ అండ్ బాటమ్ సో డబల్ బివెల్ గ్రూప్ అండ్ సి ది ఫోర్త్ వన్ హియర్ సింగల్ వి గ్రూప్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ డబల్ వి గ్రూప్ సి ది షేప్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఇన్ దిస్ షేప్స్ ఓకే and next a single j see the cut of one plate is similar to j just like a j right and if you see the third row double j group there are two j top and bottom right and if you see this next one eighth one single u group u shape group and next double u group and next flat bevel groove under one is curved and one is perfectly vertical and then it is called as flare bevel groove and if both are curved then it is called flare v groove and flanged bud joint the last one is okay so these are the types of bud joint based on how you finish the metal okay how you uh, weld this metal what is the shape of the surface uh, where you are welding and let me show you another terminology also mm, th- this is a perfect uh, example that gives you the difference between uh, fillet weld and uh, butter weld uh, this is see see in the first figure top figure it is fillet weld as, as you can see this dotted line i hope you can see this let me try to uh, someone is trying to un- you uh, voice and but never do uh, please try to get over mic right so in the top image if you see that is a fillet weld and the size of the weld is this right and see here there are two types of throats actually actual throat is here to here top to bottom this is root right and this is face right so root to face perpendicular distance is actual throat but but for our design purpose we take effective throat that is also called as theoretical throat that is from here to here if you draw a line between the toe to toe see here this is toe and this is toe okay between these two toes and this perpendicular okay so see here this is called as t effective throat thickness that is what you take see here uh, this is the fusion zone fusion zone or filler penetration filler penetration ante entante edaithe weld chestnama weld em avutundi ante it is being penetrated into the parent metal right it is penetrated okay it is penetrated okay at root if it is penetrated by greater than 2.4 mm okay ikkada zero and zero penetration at the root right if it is penetrated by 2.4 mm at the root then it is called as deep penetration deep penetration okay so leave it that at that level and see the below figure groove weld this is groove weld and here also we have fusion penetration okay penetrate out on the two at root uh, as you can see here this is bottom is root penetration a little comes off as you can see this is plate one and this is is plate 2 and uh, this is plate 2 right okay and there is a clear space left between these two wells i mean these two plate surfaces right you have to allow that okay so you put pine which kind of work chestam kind of the root panel root which ever leave it on every time root okay so as you can see 
what would be the size of the belt okay the starting toe nunchi root work unde distance ni manam em antamu size of the belt ee case lo toe ekkada undandi plate yokka top root ekkada undandi bottom down so size of the belt is can be taken as thickness of the belt i mean thickness of the plate isn't it you can take in that way isn't it so that is the now let me show you some other figures also so this is okay right so this is groove weld for t sections t section see here see the weld here how it is being cut the bottom plate is perfectly but the top plate which is being attached at a 90 degrees is having a cut of v shape of course as i told you one is vertical and one is inclined that is bevel groove right bevel it can be j groove also and this is fillet weld and see the first and the third plate here weld choodataniki koncham similar ga undochu but they are not same okay meek choodataniki okka lamp inchochu gaani rendu కాదండి బీవెల్ గ్రూవ్ అనేది ఫస్ట్ ఫిగర్ లో మనకు కనబడుతుంది అది లాస్ట్ ప్లేట్ థర్డ్ ప్లేట్ లో ఫిలెట్ అనేది కనబడుతుంది సీ దెమ్ ఎగ్జామిన్ ది బెల్ట్స్ ఓకే బాటమ్ ఫిగర్ ఆల్సో గివ్స్ ది సేమ్ థింగ్ స్లాట్ అండ్ స్లా ప్లగ్ బెల్ట్ అండ్ ఫ్లేవర్ బీవెల్ రెడ్ కవర్డ్ అయితే ఫ్లేవర్ బీవెల్ ఓకే సో నా లెట్ మీ షో యూ దిస్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ సో గైస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఎలక్ట్రోడ్ ఐ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ యూ పీపుల్ నో దిస్ electrode and remember this is groove weld groove weld and this is called bevel bevel angle bevel angle so bevel angle is nothing but the angle at which you cut the material see initially this plate used to be something like a vertical like this with a perfect shape but it has been cut to get a perfect shape. shape here right so this groove this angle is nothing but bevel angle and this is groove angle okay this is electrode metal and oka sari electrode karigin tarvata ee kinda figure chudandi this is how it is going to look it is going to melt down and fill the space and this is root reinforcement this is weld to weld base penetration join and this is weld to and face reinforcement antamu deenni and the size of the weld is equals to thickness of this metal plate thickness of this metal plate kanuchi ikkada work pudad size of weld antam groove weld vachu sir okay so these are some figures you can find down from your textbook also okay so now what is the size of the groove or butt weld so the size of the weld is going to be equal to the throat thickness and next effective throat thickness of the butt weld enta theesukovali throat thickness anedi general ga in case of fillet weld in fillet weld throat thickness is equals to k times of uh, s isn't it so here also we need we have a codal provision from is 806 you can find out that when incomplete penetration butt weld is used the effective throat thickness is taken as minimum thickness of the weld metal common to the parts joint common to the parts joint uh, let me take paint in order to explain you this yes
rights. See here, this is the, the plate one of thickness T1, and this is plate two of thickness T2. And it could weld children day. Weld is not complete penetration, right? This is not a complete penetration. See, it has been stopped. It is not complete done from the top to bottom, right? It is not a full penetration. So in this case, what is the length of the penetration common to both? Okay, common to both. Right, this, this is nothing but effect to throat thickness of the belt of the butt belt. Okay, so that is what is the first point as per code here. Okay, and next is unsealed single butt weld like P, J and everything shall have T minimum of see as I told you V, U, J single, single V, U, J and okay? this is how this is single V, isn't it? And this is single U. Okay, as I told, uh, let me show you that figure for you. See, single V for fourth one and single U, eighth one. Okay, if that is the case, if that is the case, the minimum throat thickness should be 7 by 8 times of thickness of the thinner plate. Okay. And maximum P max should be less than 5 by 8 of the thickness of the thinner plate. And throat thickness is 5 by 8 times of the thickness of thinner plate be exceed our good to do. And 7 by 8 times of thickness of thinner plate kind of So this is the T limit minimum and this is the maximum limit okay so we are going to use these in problems okay you have to remember this is as per code you can just refer this code and the depth of the unwelded portion in incomplete penetration weld should not be greater than one for the thickness of the thinner plate so so let me show you in this figure itself see here this is the, what is this? This is the depth of incomplete penetration, right? Depth of incomplete penetration. E penetration available, right? E the weld available, depth. This should be less than how much? One by fourth of the thickness of the plate, thinner thickness of the thickness of the thinner plate. Okay, should not be greater than. Okay, and next, unwelded portion can only lie in the middle. Of course, I have already shown in the figure. The unwelded portion can only lie in middle and uh, C. If there are two plates join, being joined here through butt weld, unwelded portion should be at the middle only. It cannot be at the edges, okay? Edges have to be welded in case of butt weld. Okay, so you can actually weld this Okay, as per design. If you wanted to save material and if only edges is different uh, sufficient, the edges they can weld just the the center of weld shape and plates are on the top, well chest, and you can well chest, 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 you can well Okay, that is what is saying. The unwelded portion can only lie in the middle. Okay, and next, for calculation, T is generally taken as 5 by 8 of the thickness of the thin plate. And T maximum limit should be should be less than or equals to 5 by 8 by thickness of the thinner plate and not together. So, my design can yes, the Monday thickness of the throat may manam maximum limit ki equal to thesis on my calculation. Okay. okay. And uh, 
what is the effective length of the butt belt effective length of the butt belt uh, this is the codal provision clause number 10542 of is 800 as per this codal provision the effective length of the butt belt shall be taken as the length of the continuous for which the size belt but lw should not be less than four, four times of the size of the belt so here see here ఎంత వరకు అయితే మీరు వెల్ చేస్తారో ఆ లెంత్ ఆఫ్ ది వెల్ ని జస్ట్ కాల్ ఇట్ లెంత్ ఆఫ్ బట్ వెల్ట్ ఓకే జస్ట్ లైక్ ఫిలిట్ వెల్ట్ ఎలా అయితే ఉందో ఎక్కడి నుంచి ఎక్కడ వరకు వెల్ చేస్తారు ఆ డిస్టెన్స్ ని వెల్ట్ లెంత్ అంటాం లేకపోతే లెంత్ ఆఫ్ ది వెల్ట్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ బట్ వెల్ట్ ఆల్సో సేమ్ బట్ హియర్ ఈ సేమ్ దాట్ ది లెంత్ ఆఫ్ ది వెల్ట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బి లెస్ దెన్ ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ది సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ది వెల్ట్ ఓకే లెట్ మీ షో యూ ఇన్ దిస్ ఫిగర్ సి హియర్ the length of the belt here is s1 right e figure lo idi s1 anukunte s1 so what is he is telling is lw cannot be less than 4 times of s1 cannot be less than it has to be greater than s1 okay so lw e figure lo meeku ela untundi idi meeku kanabadadu mee mee screen meeda kanabadutuni belt ki lw ela untundante perpendicular direction length of the belt right ఇప్పుడు మీకు స్క్రీన్ మీద కనబడుతుంది ఏంటంటే బట్ వెల్ యొక్క క్రాస్ సెక్షన్ అనమాట ఓకే సో లెట్ మీ గోయింగ్ టు దిస్ ఫిగర్ అండ్ సిమిలర్లీ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ వెల్డ్ ఆల్సో యూ నో దాట్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ వెల్డ్ కంటిన్యూస్ వెల్డ్ అవసరం లేనప్పుడు రెండు సర్ఫేసెస్ మధ్య కంటిన్యూస్ వెల్డ్ అవసరం లేనప్పుడు వీ డూ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ వెల్డ్ ఓకే డిస్కంటిన్యూస్ వెల్డ్ చేస్తాము కంటిన్యూస్ వెల్డ్ కాకుండా అండ్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో సేయింగ్ దాట్ ది ఇంటర్మీడియట్ బట్ వెల్డ్ షెల్ హ్యావ్ లెంత్ నాట్ లెస్ దెన్ ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ బెల్ట్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ నుంచి ఇక్కడికి ఏదైతే ఈ డిస్టెన్స్ ఉందో ఓకే దిస్ వాల్యూ షుడ్ నాట్ బి లెస్ దెన్ ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇయర్స్ ఓకే ఈచ్ లెంత్ ఈచ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వెల్ట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బి లెస్ దెన్ ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇయర్స్ ఓకే ఫిలెట్ వెల్ట్ అంతకంటే ఎక్కువ నా ప్రాబ్లం లేదు and the longitudinal space between the effective lengths of welds should not be greater than 16 times of thickness of thinner plates ante ee intermediate weld chesinappudu first part of weld ki ee second part of weld ki madhya inko chotu untundi kadandi time distance interval undi kada between weld to weld aa distance emo 16 times of thinner plate kande ekkuva undakudu so So this figure is helping can help you more with the length see here what is the length of the weld here guys this value this this is nothing but lw length of the butt weld okay so please go through the notes after our today's class so i am solving just a problem of okay uh, we have 10 more minutes so let, let's complete this quickly so this is a problem purely on butt weld okay so by solving this problem i hope that people get used to using this butt weld equation a thick plate 18 mm plate is joined to a 16 mm plate by 200 mm long effective butt weld so oka rendu plates netta chestadu butt weld toni oka time 8 16 mm thickness undi ante konchu ekku thickness ikkada 16 mm thickness determine the strength of the joint if double v butt joint is used or single v butt joint is used assume 410 grade and shaft weld so gamma mw 1.25 so f u is equals to 410 fy equals to 250 newton per mm square so let's see and write what are the data given so here i told you that as it is a single or double butt joint okay even it is a single or double butt joint i mean let us take this a case one so what is case one double b butt joint so let me show you the figure 
I think I have closed that. Right. So I hope you can see. This is the double B, but showing. Okay. If you see here, the top V flange part groove loan and well Jason Tarvata, outline a bottom V Jason Tarvata. Okay. If you allow to the depth of the uh, size of the welder, top nunchi in the work with thesis coach on Mata. Adot Nandi Kernunchi. Okay. From top to here. I think I can. Let me just. Right. So see here, if I weld this portion and weld this portion also here on this screen, but weld. See here, from here to from here, from top to bottom, I have welded it, right? So when you are joining two plates with a double V or double U joint, Groove. The depth of the penetration is from top to bottom, right? And a pine chick in the work could have welded near chestnut. Kabati, size of the welding mouth, and as I told you, will be equals to throat thickness. Okay, let me just write it down here. Okay, so TE will be equals to S, will be equals to. Thickness of thinner plate. Of course, what is the thickness of the thinner plate? 16. Therefore, I have directly written here T is equals to 16. So, as it is a double V butt joint, I wrote here C, treated as full penetration. Fine, which can work, which is not here. We take it. So, what is the length of the weld, guys? C in this question is given by 200 mm long effective butt weld. And the plates put a alone. Indicate me yellow well just certain butt joint on it 200 and mud 200 mm. Okay, so FU 410 gamma. So, what is the design strength of the belt? That is what he has asked. Determine the strength of the joint and determine the strength of the belt. So, as I told you, effective area of the belt and LW into T into FU divided by root 3 to gamma MW will give you this in terms of kilo newtons. So, this is the design strength of the belt. And at the end, this is the amount of load that you can place on that bracket or on that belt. And single V but joint. As I told you, here you can take the maximum value T. Okay, since it is in complete penetration, you have to take it as T is equals to this. So why am I taking this incomplete penetration? Let me show you that. See here. So this is single V groove, right? So if weld, if I welded that V groove, V groove on a place the gra, V groove the gra, and weld this is there, you can can clearly see that the weld did not go until the bottom part, right? It has been ended at the mid. Uh, let me just. Uh, Yeah. Okay, let me draw it here itself. See.
so here itself the weld is made right this is not a complete penetration weld this is not a complete penetration weld see this is the penetration complete ga penetrate avvalu pai nunchi kinda varaku kabatti itlanti case lo t ni ela teeskuntam ante maximum t equation prakaram 5 by 8 times of thickness of thinner plate how much is it yes it is something like 10 right 5 by 8 into 16 12. So now calculate what is the design strength of butt weld. Same thing. L W into T E into F U divided by root three into gamma M W. You get this. See here when you are joining the two plates with double joint, the strength is six zero five. If it is using a single B, we have the strength of the weld as three seventy eight point seven five kilo newton. So you have to remember that the double joints are more good or more efficient okay so we have no time left in this class today so the last problem here is going to be your homework okay so take this as a homework of course the solution is already in the notes but read this question and try to do this problem on your own okay if you have any doubt then refer this notes so this is also right. you have to design a groove belt okay so take problem number 10 as your homework okay so in the next class we are going to discuss about seat connection seated connection seated connection let me just